Oh, hello there. Before the video starts, I would like to say a few things. This sign is a warning for when the next scene or the upcoming scenes will be very loud. Another thing I want to say is that no characters were harmed in the making of the video. Everyone is a paid actor and are at least 24 years old. But I think that's all I have. I hope you enjoy. Enjoy the show or I will give you a concussion time. Oh, hey Fred. What's up? I just got back from the bank. Oh, hey Retro. I'm just watching TV since I don't really do anything other than this and other GoAnimate videos. Okay, okay, no fourth wall breaks. It's too early for that. Oh, by the way, I got paid last night. So here you are. Um, what is this? Oh, remember how you took my old and broken laptop and gave it a concussion? However that works, for a YouTube video? I told you if you promise to buy me a new laptop with that video's ad revenue, I'd pay you back? Well, here you go. Retro? There's six hundred dollars here. You only needed to give me three hundred. Consider it interest. And also because I know the gang will just steal it after they overheard me saying I'd give it to you. So keep the other three hundred somewhere well hidden. Ugh. You know them so well. Well, thanks. Anyways, what are we watching today? Just watching some ice road truckers. Like usual. Sounds awesome. Hey Retro, could I ask you something? Sure, what? Remember when the gang and I went on that vacation a week ago? And we had you house sit for us? Oh, yeah. Are you bothered by the fact there was a missing beer can? Don't worry dude, I had planned on getting more for you soon. I am bothered by that. But that's not what I wanted to ask you about. Oh? So what is it? The guest bathroom seems a bit off. I could have sworn the toilet was on the right side of the room but now it's on the left. Am I just going crazy from the brain damage from drinking too much beer or has it always been like that? Well, I figured one of you guys won't have asked by now. So I might as well tell you what happened. So, when I was house sitting for you, Caillou and Dora decided to break into your house and steal your beer and everyone's property. What? Are you serious? What they didn't realize was that I was here house sitting for you and I witnessed everything. I immediately called their parents, the latter of whom demanded they return everything they stole and they proceeded to ground them for life, as usual. Okay, but what does that have to do with the bathroom? I'm getting to that. They were both very angry for what I did that they conspired to blow up your house, along with me inside it. They managed to blow up your house but I wasn't home since I was out getting you that gourmet craft beer you ordered from the post office. I, of course, called their parents who gave them both a deadly punishment day. I knew I couldn't call you to tell you what happened. I didn't want to ruin your vacation. So I used my creator's go animate logic to rebuild your home. But it seems I didn't make a perfect replica. Are you telling me those pieces of worthless troublemaking garbage stole my property and blew up my house all in the same day? Oh 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 Hey hey. Relax. There's nothing you can do now, Fred. They're both still dead from that deadly punishment day. I mean, you could go piss on their graves. But what good will that do? Still. How could you not tell me? If I had known, I would have come straight back home and given them both a super mega ultra deadly concussion time. And have you go batshit insane and destroy Las Vegas before coming home? Please, I know you better than that. I wouldn't have. Cut the crap, Fred. You know dang well you would have. Besides, I wanted you to enjoy your vacation and not have it ruined by Go City's notorious trouble making brats. My vacation was already ruined a day into it. So not like it would have mattered. Wait, why? You, no, why? Daphne? Bingo. She rented us a girly shitbox of a car and got us kicked out of the wet and wild water park because she was disturbing the peace by recording her stupid TikTok videos, literally screaming at people who walked into her videos on accident. Even screamed at a poor child. 
so my vacation got ruined either way. Speaking of Daphne, where is she and the gang? I wouldn't have expected them to come down by now. Ugh. They're all out at some movie theater. The only reason I am not with them is because last time we tried going out to see a movie, it was a miserable car ride. Ah, uh, you. You didn't give them your credit card, did you? Of course not. For all I know, Shaggy and Scooby would have bought a hundred pounds worth of popcorn if I even made the dumb decision of giving them my credit card, and you already know how expensive theater popcorn is. I told them they can happily choke on their stale and bland popcorn while I'll be here making a real meal, which reminds me, I need to go grocery shopping soon. I just grilled my last steak while they were getting ready to leave. So wait, you were outside grilling your steak when Daphne told you they were heading to the theaters? Don't worry, I have a spare clutch assembly in the garage. So even if they melt the clutch, I can easily replace it. No, no. It's just if you were outside when they were still getting ready to leave, do you think there's a possibility they might have stolen? Oh, hold on. I'm getting a call. Yeah? Who is this? Hi, is this Fred Jones to whom I'm speaking to? Um, yeah. Why? Hi Mr. Jones. We were just notified of a $2,500 transaction on your credit card that was made at an Apple store. We are just checking to make sure this was you. Ah, uh, Fred? Who is it? Did something happen? Oh. No. I did not make that purchase. Please cancel the transaction for me. Sure thing, Mr. Jones. We will cancel the transaction as soon as we can. Thank you for choosing First National Go Animate Bank. Um, Fred? Retro. My pal. My buddy. The only person in this whole godforsaken city that hasn't done me wrong. You should go check on my van while you still can. But Fred, the van's not even here. What happened? Who was that? Go. Leave. Leave right now. Shoo away. Um? Okay. Huh. I wonder what that phone call was about. <laughs> Those pieces of worthless garbage stole my credit card and spent God knows how much on it. I'm so angry right now I feel like I am about to. Fred. Are you serious? I just rebuilt that house. Creators go animate logic is rough on the body, you know. Fuck the stupid house. Those dummies stole my credit card and probably bought the new iPhone and some other worthless junk. I am so angry that I have ascended into the teeth guy form. Well what did you expect? I mean, with you not in the house and being busy with your steak, it's no surprise they stole your credit card. Don't you dare try and tell me this is my fault, I swear. When I get my hands onto them, I will give them a concussion time so violent, they'll be dead for a whole month. Go animate logic will be powerless against their mortal bodies. Whoa whoa. Fred. Let's just try and calm down. You'll be owing more than whatever they just spent on your credit card if you leave now. You will no doubt destroy the whole city. And if I tried using my creator's Go Animate logic to literally rebuild everything you destroy, I'll probably die from exhaustion. My point is, just take a deep breath in and out. See? All better. Look, from what I heard, it seems your credit card company called you and told you what happened. So you will still be getting your money back regardless. I think the best thing you can do right now is just find wherever they are, take back the things they bought, return them to the store, and... Give them the ultimate concussion time. No. No? You're saying no to the concussion beast? Not like that, Fred. What I mean is that... Look, you gave the gang concussion time so many times, they've become immune to it. It seems to me that it's time I give you something I've been working on for a very long time. Immune? No one can be immune to the power of the concussion beast. Are you calling me weak? No, I'm just saying that the gang has gotten so used to getting brain injuries all the time that they've literally become numb to it. Oh, whatever. So tell me, what is this stupid thing you say you have? Boris and I have conspired together to create the ultimate weapon. By taking his grounding mastery and your concussion energy, 
we fused them together to create the grounding concussion beast. That name is re e e e e e e e e e can say that word, can I? In this day and age? No, but yeah, I know the name is stupid. You try coming up with a name to explain what it is. What the fuck even is it? Grounding concussion beast? Like what? It's exactly what it's named. Instead of just having the power of the concussion beast, you will now possess the spirit of the grounding master. Your concussion times will be so violent and brutal, you will literally ground and banish the victim into the Earth's core. What? Really? That sounds so awesome. Give it to me. Now. Right now. Now, hold on Fred. I will have to administer it slowly. Last time I tested it on someone, it uh, didn't really, end well. What? What do you mean? Ha, uh, well. Okay, Caillou, if you promise to help me test this thing your father and I have created, I'll take you to Chuck E. Cheese's. All right? Oh, yes. Let's do it. Huh? I don't feel any. Oh my god, the power, it's too much. Help, 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 help. Oops. <laughs> wow. I wish I was there to witness that. Anyways, you should know by now that Caillou is a weak little bitch. I am sure I can handle it. And even if I die, I can just respawn due to go animate logic. Give me the power now. Alright, alright, just be warned. I don't know how this will affect your physical form. So be wary. Huh, I don't really- Oh yes. Yes 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 yes. I feel the power. The power. I can feel the power of the grounding spirit deep within my veins. My concussion time is now 3000 times more powerful. That's great to hear. Fred. I'm glad it all worked out. Now then, use this power for good. With great power comes great re- It's time to go find those lazy good-for-nothing gang members and give them brain contusions. Stay here and rebuild my house. G-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-
then he's going to proclaim himself as president and take over the country? Possibly the whole world, and it's all your fault. <laughs> you're laughing? You've basically doomed the whole country and you're laughing? Come on Daphne, do you honestly think I'd believe Fred would literally go out of his way to fly all the way to Washington DC just to take over the government? If you're trying to get me to take away his power, you'll have to come up with a better story than that. I'm not lying you crazy son of a bitch. He is really going to. We interrupt our programming with a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. The emergency alert system has issued an emergency action notification. Notorious concussion beast, Fred Jones was spotted stealing an airplane from Go City's airport. He was seen flying all the way to Washington, D.C., where he has given the president a severe concussion time. Fred Jones has declared himself the new ruler of the United States. He has threatened to give everyone who goes against him a concussion time. This message is to warn the people to not go against him or they will suffer major consequences. This has been the Emergency Alert System, bringing you the latest updates. Oh, for God's sake. Fred, you idiot. I told you. Oh, shut it. What do you expect me to do about it? Fred has the power of the grounding spirit and the strength of the concussion spirit in teeth guy form. If I tried going after him to stop him, he's no doubt going to obliterate me from this mortal realm. It's your fault, therefore you have to fix it. Ugh, we could try asking Velma. Maybe she has an idea? Well? Any ideas? Well, seeing how his power is literally 3,000 times more powerful than a regular teeth guy, no one can stand up to him. According to my calculations, if we tried sending someone to stop him, there's a 0.0000152588% chance we would be able to stop him. What about the other percentage? He would absolutely destroy our souls from existence. Like he would literally destroy us from this mortal realm. Huh. Well what about Shaggy? He has the power of Ultra Instinct, doesn't he? Can't we just send him to try and fight Fred? Last time I tried using my power, I wiped out all of reality and only sent Fred to the garage when I meant to send him to the Shadow Realm. Uh. Are other YouTubers' videos canon in this series? Sure, why not? Well anyways, if Shaggy isn't a viable option, what should we do? And I'm not using creators go animate logic because that's just lazy and defeats the purpose of Fred going mad with power. <laughs> Natural. I heard that this situation with Fred is all your fault. How could you give him that power? I thought you were just bullshitting me when you wanted to make it. I didn't think you'd actually give it to him. What on earth were you thinking? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't ground you for all of eternity. Oh my god. Is everyone going to get up my ass about it? How was I supposed to know this is what he would have done? Look, Boris. We are trying to find a way to fix this. But there's literally no one stronger than him except. Oh. My god. Boris. It's your grounding power he has. You can easily match his strength. You will be the one to try and fight him. But he has the power of the concussion spirit. Even with my strength, he can still wipe the floor with me. There's literally nothing we can do. Not necessarily. Perhaps if Retro takes Shaggy's Ultra Instinct powers and fuses them with Boris's grounding mastery, he might be able to match Fred exactly. According to my calculations, if we went with that idea, there's a 99.9999999999% chance Boris will win the fight. What's the other percentage? Fred pulls a Kratos and does the impossible and kills Boris. Oh. Huh, <laughs> very well. If this is the only way, then let's do it. Funny you bring that up, Vilma. I actually have that power at my disposal. I had some of Boris's grounding spirit left over so, I decided to take some of Shaggy's Ultra Instinct while I was here one day. You did what? Unfortunately, I've only tested it once. And that didn't really end well. What? Why? Well...
Okay, Dora, if you help me test this thing I have created, I'll take you to McDonald's. All right? Oh, heck yeah. Let's do it. Huh. I don't feel any. Oh my god, the power, it's too much. It hurts so badly. Someone please help, help. Damn it. Not again. So. Yeah. Did you seriously just use the same gag as before just with Dora? That's irrelevant, Scooby. My point is that I'm not sure if Boris can handle such a powerful thing. If he blows up, we're sort of fucked, aren't we? You dare insist I can't handle some puny little thing? The audacity. Just give me that power right now, Retro. We don't have time. All right, fine. Everyone, stand clear. Whoa, whoa. Not in my bedroom. Take it outside. I don't need to clean up blood under corpse. Fine. Now once again, everyone stand clear. Well? How do you feel? Strong. Um, isn't this the part where you transform? My physical form is already powerful. I don't need some stupid special form to prove my strength. So you are telling me I slaved away and made this and it's going to be unused? Like what the hell, Boris? Just shut the fuck up. It's time to go punish Fred. Someone make sure Caillou doesn't go to Chuck E. Cheese's. Great. Someone please book a flight to Washington, D.C. so I can watch Fred get a brutal throttling. Perhaps for my first act as Supreme Leader, I should get everyone named Daphne Blake executed. Then perhaps I will have the entirety of the Apple Corporations destroyed. <laughs> Boris, how dare you enter my office? Fred, even though you are my ally, I cannot stand by and let you take over the country. But I will give you this one chance and this one chance only to surrender and stop with this insanity. No, as president, I have unlimited money and a whole army to deal out my concussion will. How dare you try to steal my glory? I didn't want to have to do this, Fred, but you leave me with no choice. Fred, how dare you take over the government? That's it. You are. No. It's more like you're grounded, grounded, grounded. It's time for you to suffer the consequences of going against me, Boris. It's time to die. <coughs> Boris. How dare you try to stop me? That's it. You are grounded, grounded, grounded. To the earth score. No, I am the grounding master. You can't ground me, Fred. It's punishment day. You know, Boris is the only person in this whole city that makes me want to grab a box of popcorn. Kick back and just watch. Retro, this isn't the time for it. Okay, me too. Time to end this. No, Boris, stand back. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Why? Why did you guys have to take away my powers? It is quite obvious to me, Fred, that you are clearly not ready to wield such a powerful weapon. Like taking over the government? What the hell? You guys can do your arguing later. I have to do some grounding first. Well, sorry, Fred. Looks like you're getting some well-deserved grounding. Wrong. Retro, how dare you create such a deadly weapon and give it to an equally deadly person? That's it. You are grounded, 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 grounded for triple tranquility. Whatever triple tranquility means, that also means you will be staying with me, just so I can keep a close eye on you. Oh come on. I didn't know. Doesn't matter. Now go book us some plane tickets now so we can get the hell out of here. Oh fine. As for you, you are grounded grounded grounded. For a day. What? He literally commits treason? Terrorism, and mass chaos and he's only getting grounded for a day? What the hell? It's because that fight was the best fight I had in years. He managed to get a single drop of blood out of me. That alone, 
makes me think he deserves some mercy and also because he'll be magically ungrounded in the next video, so does it matter? Um, tell you what Fred, you can escape your grounding if you do me one favor. And that would be? Kill Kai Yu. What? But I didn't even do anything. Oh, no no, not you son, that Kai Yu. Wha, what, what did I do? You existed, now, sick him Fred. Oh you bet I'll be sure to make him regret being born. I'm so done with today. Let's just go home. You said it, Velma. Wait. Guys, what about Shaggy? I don't have thumbs. Guys. Seriously.